Dasein is a German word which means being there, or presence often translated in English with the word existence. It is a fundamental concept in the existential philosophy of Martin Heidegger particularly in his magnum opus Being and Time. Heidegger uses the expression Dasein to refer to the experience of being that is peculiar to human beings. Thus it is a form of being that is aware of and must confront such issues as personhood, mortality and the dilemma or paradox of living in relationship with other humans while being ultimately alone with oneself. Heidegger's reinterpretation, in German, Dasein is the vernacular term for existence, as in I am pleased with my existence. The term Dasein has been used by several philosophers before Heidegger, most notably Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, with the meaning of human existence, or presence. It is derived from Dasein, which literally means being there there being, though Heidegger was adamant that this was an inappropriate translation of Dasein. Dasein for Heidegger was a way of being involved with and caring for the immediate world in which one lived, while always remaining aware of the contingent element of that involvement, of the priority of the world to the self, and of the evolving nature of the self itself. Its opposite was the forfeiture of one's individual meaning, destiny and lifespan, in favor of an immersion in the public everyday world a euro the anonymous, identical world of the they and the them. In harmony with Nietzsche's critique of the subject, as something definable in terms of consciousness, Heidegger distinguished Dasein from everyday consciousness in order to emphasize the critical importance being has for our understanding and interpretation of the world. This entity which each of us is himself our euro we shall denote by the term a euro oe daisy in a euro. Dasein is that entity which in its being has this very being as in is a euro. Heidegger sought to use the concept of Dasein to uncover the primal nature of being, agreeing with Nietzsche and Dilly that Dasein is always a being engaged in the world, neither a subject, nor the objective world alone, but the coherence of being in the world. This ontological basis of Heidegger's work thus opposes the Cartesian abstract agent in favor of practical engagement with one's environment. Dasein is revealed by projection into, and engagement with, a personal world a never-ending process of involvement with the world is mediated through the projects of the self. Heidegger considered that language, everyday curiosity, logical systems, and common beliefs obscure Dasein's nature from itself. Authentic choice means turning away from the collective world of them, to face Dasein, one's individuality, one's own limited lifespan, one's own being. Heidegger thus intended the concept of Dasein to provide a stepping stone in the questioning of what it means to be a Euro to have one's own being, one's own death, one's own truth. Heidegger also saw the question of Dasein as extending beyond the realms disclosed by positive science or in the history of metaphysics. A Euro OE scientific research is not the only manner of being which this entity can have, nor is it the one which lies closest. Moreover, Dasein itself is a special distinctiveness as compared with other entities. It is ontically distinguished by the fact that, in its very being, that being is an issue for eta euro. Being and time stress the ontological difference between entities and the being of entities, a euro oe being is always the being of an integer euro. Establishing this difference is the general motif running through being and time. Some scholars disagree with this interpretation, however, arguing that for Heidegger Dasein denoted a structured awareness or an institutional way of life. Others suggest that Heidegger's early insistence on the ontological priority of Dasein was muted in his post-war writings. Origin and inspiration, some have argued for an origin of Dasein in Chinese philosophy and Japanese philosophy, according to Tomono Buimamiki, Heidegger's concept of Dasein was inspired a euro although Heidegger remained silent on this a euro by Okakura Kakuzo's concept of Das in der Welt seen expressed in the book of tea to describe Zhuangzi's philosophy, which Imamiki's teacher had offered to Heidegger in 1919, after having followed lessons with him the year before. Karl Jaspers Dasein and Existence For Karl Jaspers, the term Dasein meant existence in its most minimal sense, the realm of objectivity in science in opposition to what Jaspers called existence, the realm of authentic being. Due to the drastically different use of the term Dasein between the two philosophers, there is often some confusion in students who begin with either Heidegger or Jaspers and subsequently study the other. In philosophy, 
Jaspers gave his view of the history of philosophy and introduced his major themes. Beginning with modern science and empiricism, Jaspers points out that as we question reality, we confront borders that an empirical method can simply not transcend. At this point, the individual faces a choice, sink into despair and resignation, or take a leap of faith toward what Jaspers calls transcendence. In making this leap, individuals confront their own limitless freedom, which Jaspers calls existence, and can finally experience authentic existence. Other applications, Erotasti considered dozing very important in existential semiotics. Jacques Lacan turned in the 1950s to Heidegger's dozing for his characterization of the psychoanalyst as being for death. Similarly, he saw the Analysander's searching for authentic speech, as opposed to a euro oed subject who loses his meaning in the objectifications of discourse, which will give him the wherewithal to forget his own existence and his own death a euro. Alfred Schutz distinguished between direct and indirect social experience, emphasizing that in the latter a euro oe my orientation is not towards the existence of a concrete individual thou. It is not towards any subjective experiences now being constituted in all their uniqueness in another's minder euro. Criticism, Theodore W. Adorno criticized Heidegger's concept of dazing as an idealistic retreat from historical reality. Richard Rorty considered that with Dazine Heidegger was creating a conservative myth of being, complicit with the romantic elements of National Socialism. See also References External links, Martin Heidegger